himself in right here with you and he's not going to ever leave you and he loves you more than you'll ever know and you have things something on that belongs to him what do you have on i have everything oh okay well he's saying you do what i ask you to do and this is what he wants you to know he loves his siblings with all his heart and soul they mean the world to him and they have to have the happy mother that he had this is what he's begging you for because he knows that you're in charge of this if you do not become embracing in the knowledge that your son is alive and well and you'll be seeing him someday but not for a long time and live your life in the peace of knowing that he's still here with you and show the children the smiles and the happiness that he got from you he he wants that so badly that he wants that because he loves the siblings so much there is such an enormous amount of things your family according to your son has gone through he knows that the kids went through a lot with their father they went through a lot of ups and downs and pain and sorrow and it's hard enough on them because of the disappointment they felt in dad he doesn't want them to feel disappointed in knowing that mommy has had to be forever changed because of this terrible tragedy of losing your son he loves them tells me this is what you have to look forward to need you to listen to this in the future you are looking at children getting married grandchildren beautiful things that are happening you'll be here to enjoy it you will be here to know the babies that he knew first if you tell yourself that's what you want you have to want it but that's definitely going to happen and he's saying i'll know the babies before they come he's done everything so many things to try to let all of you know he's here he's tried so hard to show signs to every single one of you one of them is a rainbow he's shown me rainbow color rainbow to tell you that's not a coincidence when you saw it he also sends love to the family. There's grandparents and others. He also says that you have things that are all kinds of things that were his. Shoes, pants, this, that. And he knows everybody wears them, takes them, puts them on for the day, for the moment, whatever it is. His name has been etched in something. I don't know what he's showing me. It looks like it's been etched. Yeah, and who yeah. is Anthony? Is he have a brother, Anthony? He has a brother, Anthony, and his father's here. Okay. Sir, I say this to you because he knows you're disappointed. You're disappointed in having something to do with, and I have no idea what he means by this. I know it has to do with something when he was little that you beat yourself up for because you feel you weren't there for it. And he doesn't want you to do that. He tells me, tell you, don't be disappointed in yourself. And don't be, think I'm disappointed. Because the, what he wants is you to know that these kids are, they, they're really souls he's known many lifetimes. And they're counting on you. They're counting on you to survive and be happy. And if you can do that for him, he can be happy. Because he knows the kids are looking at you and the mother saying, she has to carry us. They have to carry us. And if they show us how it's done, we can do it. And he's counting on you to do it. He knows you feel bad about mistakes you made. Whatever they are, I don't even know. I don't have any idea. But the mistakes that you feel you made with the mother and the mother feels she made with you. And he doesn't want us to dwell on that. He just wants us to be happy family. No matter whatever happened in the past, be happy. <coughs> he is saying things about the future that I want you to know you are looking at. There is babies being born. I even see a symbol of twins. So somebody, I believe, will have twins. And I'm gonna say he's gonna know them all before you do. And when they come, you're gonna remember he sent them. And he knew them. And they know him. And the children are gonna be looking past you at him because he loves each one of you. And he's saying, don't worry. You did the right thing, you did the best you could. I should have stopped him back then. No, you're gonna do that forever, and you realize you couldn't have stopped him back. I should have. Maybe you're gonna say that, I can tell you a million other parents I know who are saying the same thing, honey. But I can tell you that if you live your life saying every single day, I should have, I could have, I would have, it's gonna break your heart and break everybody's heart around you. You've got to say, embrace your belief in God, embrace your faith in God, that he is with God, and that he's here with you. And there really wasn't, and I feel bad saying this, there really wasn't much you could have done, honey. There isn't much more. He, and sadly, if it wasn't that day that you didn't stop him, if it was God's plan, then it was going to happen the next day when you had nothing to know or do about it. So you can't beat yourself feel. up. He what? He didn't feel. What, honey? He didn't feel pain. No, he went an instant. He didn't even get to the hospital alive. He was gone before he got there. It was in an instant. And he was in the light with many, many souls that love him from both sides of your family. But he just wants the both of you to realize that if you comfort each other and find happiness in each other, then the siblings will be happy. 
They'll find happiness. He wants them to be happy. He loves his brothers and sisters like crazy. He showed me memories of them when they were little. They were toddling around on top of each other. You would have thought it was the midget racing car thing. You would have thought it was the wrestling camp, you know, camp or universe, because that's the kind of way they grew up. And he has all those memories and loves it. He tells me how much he remembers and loves it all. And he has a friend with him. Did somebody pass away with him? Yeah. Because he has a friend with him. Uh, actually, just before, just before. He okay, because he's telling me there's another person who's young also who is with him. Isaac. I wouldn't. I don't know the name. He's just telling me yeah. you would know. Yeah. And he's asking you to send love to the family because he's with that person. Remember, they're in the air you breathe. A I R always in reach, and he's very much a part of your lives and never will stop being. And he loves you all. I hope, I hope you will take this to heart because he really wants it fed. So of course you do, honey. Of course you do. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Really, I am. Thank you.